Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well today. We're in the P47D and we're looking at air-to-air -air and air-to-ground gunnery. We've got four times M2 half-inch machine guns in each wing, so a total of eight and a total of 3,400 rounds or thereabouts. So it's a pretty awesome gunnery platform. We'll look at air-to-air -air gunnery first. To arm the guns, I've already got mine armed, but we'll release this red catch here and put this switch here into guns and camera. To turn the K14 gun sight on, or put the brightness up, should we say, this knob here wants to be fully rotated, and it currently is fully clockwise rotated, so it is on. And that's all we have to do. We get two reticles. We get the fixed reticle here, which I think is the same one as in the Mustang, and we've got the gyro reticle here. So these two are separate. For ground attack, you will only use the fixed reticle. For air-to-air, -air, your primary is this gyro reticle and your backup is the fixed reticle. The gyro reticle is lead computed. We input values through, through controls that I show you here and it will lead compute. So this is especially useful on maneuvering targets. Now, I don't have the skill really to fight maneuvering targets yet, so I'll just show it used against static targets. Controls as they stand, 1st of June 2020 to fire the gun is thus. To decrease the range on the range selector thus, to increase the range on the range selector thus, you'll need both of those bound. And you can also bind the target span, it's up to you. That is our ball sight there, that's where the guns are aimed. This is a 70 milliradian circle. Regards additional controls, we've got the ability to set the wingspan of the target here. Basically, grab this guy with left click and then move the mouse up or down, and it will go between 30 feet wingspan to 120 feet wingspan. The range selector, we can turn here with mouse left click and drag, or mouse scroll will, or like I said, set something up in your HOTAS is the best idea. It ranges from 600 feet to 2,400 feet. So the primary method of shooting a bad guy down is thus. We're first going to set the wingspan of the plane. So we see with our eyes that that is a JU-88. We know its wingspan spans about 62 feet, depending on version. So I'm going to set this guy here to 62 feet, and then that's set for the rest of the dogfight. Next, I'm going to default this setting here back to 600. You always start to 600 as per the user manual. Next, we're going to fly and place gyro reticle dot there into the center mass of the aircraft and hold it there. Once we've done that, we are gonna adjust the ranger here until the inside of what I like to call the petals because they remind me of the petals of a flower. So the inside, imagine a circle around the inside tips like that until that frames the aircraft perfectly. Then we're gonna wait one second. That one second, because this is 1940s, is the time that, that the analog computer in here takes to add any lead corrections. After one second, assuming no significant changes, then you can fire. Now, obviously, ranging will change as the dogfight progresses, so we're constantly going to have one hand, if you like, on this knob, turning and ranging this knob. So it's going to be a dynamic process you need to keep doing. It's a really hard thing to do. It's something I really struggle with. I'll show you my best go. I've had a little practice here, and one thing I noticed is that this plane, if it has even a bit of your slip in, and we go to the slip gauge here, we can see we're slightly to the right here, so we need to trim rudder right to step on this ball here to get it central. Even the smallest amount of your slip makes this almost impossible to do. So I'm going to trim out this your slip here, and then go and have a pop at that JU88. So first thing we're going to do is set the range, uh, sorry, set the wingspan at about 62 feet. There we go. I'm just uh, checking everything is neutralized and it is right. So we're going to get the dot onto the hostile plane whilst retrimming. And next, I'm going to work the ranger to try and get, frame the guy with the inside of my petals, as you can see. And like it says in the manual, got to give it a second before firing. And let's have a go at that. Now, hey! Now, out of interest, you can see how much lead the gyro sight is putting on. The difference between the dot on the gyro sight and the ball sight crosshair here is the amount of lead that it's computing. That's 0.43 nautical miles, so it's about 3,000 feet. So we're actually out of maximum range, and I was still hitting him. So that shows how good it can be, actually. Let's get within practical range. Okay, I'm going to reframe him here. Okay, within a couple of thousand feet now. So the ranging start should start work, be working a bit better. It'll be out there about 1500, yeah. So get some. <laughs> cool, huh? Free range. <laughs> and switch up gun the old fashioned sight. <laughs> cool damage model, huh? 
See ya. Right. Next, we're going to do air to ground. So we couldn't find a great deal of computation information. What we can find is that the minimum speed we should be really gunning for against a ground target is 350 miles an hour, which is really far fast. An ideal dive angle of 30 degrees, which is quite hard to use the ADI, but you can use it. Bearing in mind, that is 45 degrees, that is zero degrees. You can use the ADI, artificial horizon, sorry. Other than that, it's pretty much going to be firing by tracer. So let's go and give it a go. Okay, we're going to get some altitude and run in on these half tracks just to the right. And just be careful because diving at steep angles in this plane can get very dangerous. So just watch your speed. So I'm going to dive about 250 and we should get up to 350 before firing. Again, I've neutralized my rudder trim. Dive down on one of these suckers. Got some. Ha <laughs> ha Around again. 3,400 rounds. I can be doing this all day. So one thing I'm really looking forward to using is this in campaigns because I can just sit over a target and got my rudder slightly out of trim, I just realised, but let's work with it. Ha ha ha! Three down. Right, that's as far as I can use it at the moment. That is the procedure for gunning in the P-47D. I hope that was useful and see you later.